I'm here, so I'm old. I'm here. Week 11 is here, and it's going to be a good show. You know why? No. Because we're coming off a bye. You know what I think about coming First to come off a bye? First time since September of 2010, due to technical difficulties at that point, that yes. we missed the show. Yes. This was due to familial difficulties, because you had to take you and your in-laws to Disney. And my kids. And your kid got sick on Sunday night, so he couldn't do anything. No, he couldn't. This is what happens when you have kids. No more and mirrors. Exactly. We're going to do all the games. We're not going to pick the two games game apiece because nope. that, that hasn't mattered for so anything. So instead of clicking on the games on the left, you can now click on 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, or Sunday, Monday games. So feel free to click around and watch all our predictions. Let's get into the games. First game we're going to do is a game I might have picked anyway myself. Yeah, it's a good game on uh, Thursday night. And actually, you can't click on the left to get to the Thursday night game. So <laughs> thanks for showing up for this one. Buffalo traveling to Miami. Miami a six-point favorite at home. Miami looked good against Detroit, regardless of losing. Correct. And I'm going to tell you something. That guy, Brent Grimes. Yes. Is that his name, Brent Grimes? Defensive person, yeah. He's like seven inches shorter than Calvin Johnson. And he played him well. And he owned him. And Calvin Johnson still had a few things. But, yeah. I mean, he made some incredible plays. I like Miami's defense. I like Miami at home on this. However, Buffalo's got a little heart. They do? I'm going to, I'm going to do the hedge. Okay. Miami win, Buffalo cover, so either way, I'm taking Buffalo. I actually made my picks for my pick em pool that I'm in against the spread. I have five games I have to pick. I have to choose five games. This is one I chose. I took Miami minus six. I said, I've been saying that for a couple weeks, that I honestly think Miami can win the AFC East. So I'm going to stick with that, and I'll take Miami minus six. All right, so the next game we're going to do, we're going to start with the one o'clock games here. Houston traveling to Cleveland. Cleveland, the three point. Home favorite coming off of a long week off because they were a Thursday night game and destroying Cincinnati last week. Cleveland, yeah. Yes. Was Houston on a bye last week? Houston was on a bye. They were on a bye. Is this the Ryan Mallett week? This is the Ryan Mallett week. Okay, I think that's going to change a lot of things, so I'll take Cleveland to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I like Cleveland, though. Cleveland being in first place just cracks me up. This cracks me up. If this game was in Houston... They are in first place. They are in yeah. first place, but they have a half a game lead, yes. Yeah. Um, they're in. If this was in Houston, I might go the other way. I'm a little worried about Arian Foster running on that Cleveland defense. Me too, because he's on. He's against me in fantasy. And that's another reason to be worried. But I do like Cleveland. I said at the beginning of the year, Cleveland was going to win that division. They were going to be a playoff. I didn't say they're going to win the division. I said they're going to be a playoff team. I did say they were going to be a playoff team. I need to see the tape on that. I said they would be a playoff I mean, team, and you made fun of me. Contender. I said they were going to be better with Brian Hoyer. I said Brian Hoyer had some heart. Right, but I said they'd make the playoffs. Yeah, I, you will not find that. But you I will, will find I, it. I want a newspaper in front of you post haste on that. No so way. So I'll take no Cleveland. And you know what I like about ESPN? Brian Hoyer will be one loss away from uh, Johnny Manziel oh, taking over for the rest of the year. Next game, Minnesota traveling to the Chicago. I guess we can call them the Bears. They're fucking horrible. Uh, the Bears are favored by three at home. Heads. Chicago, Tails, Minnesota. Because this game doesn't matter. Minnesota. All right. I am four games back of you, so I'm going to go Chicago. And I, I got to feel like they have some pride to come back and win that and, and win a game after that. The last two weeks have been horrendous. I'm like 13 games back after I was perfect last week. Uh, Seattle traveling to Kansas City. Kansas City is a one-and-a-half point favorite against the defending Super Bowl champs. I have Marshawn Lynch in fantasy, so I paid Woo! extra. I lost. I lost. Oh, well, I lost. Still, I lost with him, and I, I don't want to get into. I don't want to get into who I went against. But they went to the read option. If they commit to the read option, they say the game. The season is over for Arizona with Carson Palmer out. Seattle comes back and wins the division if they stick to the run option because it eliminates Russell Wilson having to beat you with the pass, and he can run for 100 yards a game. He might set a single season record for quarterback rushing if they stick to that. Uh, I'm so little, Seattle. I, I'm, I'm going to go with you. I think Seattle is going to win this game on the road too. Um, I think Kansas City is a good team. I think they might even be better than they were last year, but they did fall at the end. Um, but I like Seattle to stop Jamal Charles and make Alex Smith beat him, and he won't be able to. So give me Seattle with the points. I will say Buffalo tried to stop Jamal Charles last week, and at some point it failed. Yes. It worked early, and then it failed. Yeah. Miserably late. One of the reasons I lost. Uh, next game in NFC South. Who gives a shit battle? Atlanta gives traveling. gives a shit? These are two playoff contenders. Atlanta traveling to Carolina. Carolina somehow favored by a point and a half after getting shellacked by the Eagles on Monday Night Football. I'm going to take Atlanta in this because I think Cam Newton's hurt. I think there's something wrong with him. There's got to be something wrong with him. I mean, he, got, he got 
pummeled by an Eagles defense that was supposedly going to have some trouble with D'Amico Ryans being out. Well, didn't he have three interceptions and two fumbly, five turnovers? He got sacked a bunch. Nine times. Nine times? Eagles are the first, te- or only the second team, or maybe it was the first team ever to have eight plus sacks in back to back weeks. Wow, that's, uh, that's impressive. I did not know that. That's why I'm taking Atlanta. And, uh, I'm with you. I'm, I'm going with Atlanta. I need Julio Jones to have a big week for fantasy for me this week. So throw to Julio Jones. Atlanta cup, uh, wins with a point and a half. Uh, Cincinnati traveling to New Orleans. The upstart in New Orleans. I don't know. I mean, they're still not even 500, right? They're 4 and 5. They're in first place at 4 and 5. Right. Outright. And they're 4, four and 5. Outright. Favorite, they're favored by 7 at home. What do you got there? Cincinnati's might be the worst team in the league. They might be the worst <laughs> defense in the league. And I think it was eight weeks ago we said they were the best defense in the league, hands down. Mm-hmm. This is a game, you know, that New Orleans lost at home for the first time in 19 games under Drew Brees. Like, I don't know how they came up with the stats with the suspensions and everything. It was like, here's the deal. They lost the game. Jimmy Graham goes like this <laughs> and catches the ball. It wasn't. It was a push off. It was right. a push off. And when you can't handle your business at home, you're not a good team. And Cincinnati is so bad right now. Nobody gives them a chance. That's why they're a seven point dog. I'm taking the seven points. I'm taking them to win outright because this is a classic game where everybody says, "Oh, you know, Cincinnati's terrible," and they'll show up and score fifty. I'm with you on that all the way up to the point where you said they went outright. I think it's going to be a close game, so I'll take the seven and take the Bengals. I don't think I'll take the hail mary with the shovel. Uh, Tampa Bay traveling to the Redskins. Redskins favored by seven. Redskins heads. Uh, gives a shit, Tampa. I mean, <laughs> I mean, seriously, seriously. This game should go to London. Or it should go to like Iraq or something. <laughs> like, just go somewhere where they play in sand and make it faster. I, this, these teams are awful. They suck. I don't know how Washington can cover seven point spread, so I will take Tampa with the seven also. Denver traveling to St. Louis. And Denver is a nine and a half point favorite on the road. And today came out that they are benching yeah. Austin Davis. He, he got hurt though, right? No, they, I, I know he got benched, but he did get dinged. I guess he got dinged, but t- they, yesterday they said he was going to play. He was going to start. Now today they come back and say. He's I would play. hope that's because of some sort of ding, because he played well enough to keep the job on that team. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, competitive. I agree, yeah, they competitive. Have no receivers. I mean, I mean, it took Drew Stanton to come in to beat him last week. Right. I mean, it was Carson Palmer got hurt, and then all of a sudden John Brown scored a touchdown. And had an electric shock. I don't know if you saw his dance in the end zone afterwards. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, look that one up. That's that's going to be on the not top ten. Uh, who we're we talking about again? Denver. We're talking about Denver. Nine and a half points. I won't touch a ten point <laughs> spread. Uh, yeah, no. If you're going to start Sean Hill, I'm going to take Denver. I mean, Denver's not playing great, but um, by Denver today, <laughs> just get that straight. By Pey- Denver standards. Peyton grew up playing in the dome in, the, in his NFL career. So if you're going to Take him in a dome against St. Louis. He's going to put up 42 points. Give me Denver to cover easily. Uh, now we have one more 1 o'clock game. That's the San Francisco 49ers traveling across the country to play the Giants. Um, and San Francisco's favorite four on the road. Uh, San Francisco last week beating New Orleans the way they did. Um, they took a 51-yard fourth down play to win, and then they gave up a Hail Mary even though it was a push-off. You're not going to tell me that they're – Impressing me. I mean, they're not. They're not that good a team. They have some issues. That being said, the Giants suck. <laughs> the Giants are that bad. Four point road favorite. I, I'll take the Giants. I don't think they're going to win, but I, I see that being closer than four. And that's a hard thing to say. This is my. I'll do a classic ESPN. I'll go uh, twenty-two to nineteen, because every time somebody on ESPN picks a score, it's a score that never happens. <laughs> I'm going to take the Giants to win outright in this game as my upset special. San Francisco traveling west to east for a 1 o'clock game. Does never, no West Coast team fares well 1 Not o'clock really. on the East Coast. So I think the Giants come in, surprise people, win this game outright. Let's move on to the 4 o'clock games. To Lambeau Field to face the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay is favored by 5.5. Oh, that one's up all the way up yeah, there. Yeah, but it's something they... I was going to say, Red Zone's going to suck with two games, but they, this thing's out of order. Yes, it is. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what I come down to. I can't pick a push because it's five and a half. Uh, Philadelphia looked better than I thought they were going to last week. I, I don't. I think Green Bay was, I mean, what was that against Chicago? I mean, it, why don't, how don't you just get them the seventh touchdown? Just, I don't Just understand. bring them out and do it. I mean, he could have thrown it to me, for God's sakes. 
I, I'm a Philly uh, rooter, but I, you know I'm going to take Green Bay on this one. It's time for them to lose another game. It doesn't kill the Eagles to lose this game. No, I agree with you. I think if they can win the game, if the Eagles win this game, they prove that they are if are one of the top three teams in the NFC. If they aren't right now, they will be if they win this game. Bottom line is, if they lose this game, every loss they have is going to be a loss that you might have expected. Exactly. So at I, the time, I honestly think Green Bay wins this game. I think Aaron Rodgers is just lights out right now, and Jordy Nelson at home has caught a fifty-yard touchdown pass in every I'm game at home. Let me restart. Every game at home, he's caught. I needed him to not get a touchdown, and I would have won my fantasy. So give me Green Bay. It was Bay. over with fifteen oh one left in the first quarter. I honestly think that this game is going to be a shootout. I would take the over. The over under is fifty five. I would take the over. I think it's going to be 35-28, 42-35, and I think Green Bay scores at the end to win. Um, let's move on to the next 4 o'clock game. Oakland traveling to San Diego. San Diego favored by 10 at home. I'm going to stick with my rule. Oakland's, Oakland's a little bit of a bitch when it comes to these covers, and I don't like to touch double-digit spreads, so I'm going to take Oakland to cover. No way to win. No way to win, but I, I'm going to take them to cover. They, they are getting a little more competitive. They're playing with the more competitive. They're playing with they, the they, 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 If it was a one-quarter game against Denver, they were they were right there. <laughs> they were right there. Uh, uh, San Diego, to me, is a team that started off like gangbusters and now has lost two in a row. I mean, it might be three in a row, actually. Pitch face. And they're falling apart. I agree. Oakland covers the game. I don't know. I'm not. I wouldn't go as far as say they're going to win outright. No, like you I'm not didn't. Taking, no. But I, I there's no be, way they win. I wouldn't be surprised if they win, though. If they were home, maybe their their one win this year is going to be at home. All right. Uh, the last 4 o'clock game, Detroit <clears throat> traveling to Arizona. Arizona, a two-point favorite. This is 8-1 against 7-2, right? Yeah. 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 I, I, this, this is a game for Arizona. I mean, to be favored at home against Detroit, I mean, it's, it just tells you how bad Detroit's offense is because their defense is for real. Yeah. Um, that puts a lot of faith in Drew Stanton. I mean, he is 2-1 as a starter this year. <sighs> But I, I got to take Detroit in this. I, you know, eight and two is going to be okay for Arizona. I think it's going to take a week to gather. You know, like they knew Carson Palmer was coming back based on whether or not he could jerk off when he woke up. I mean, it was like, hey Carson, when you wake up, see if you have any feeling in your hand. You know, it's like, okay, I don't. So Drew Stanton played. Now he knows he's got the ride for the rest of the year. I don't think it makes him the best team in the NFC because of that. So I think this is going to be a letdown game. Then we'll see how everything else goes. Whether or not Seattle sticks to the run option. I I agree. I think now that Calvin Johnson's back and he's healthy, um, I think Detroit's going to put up some points in the desert, and I think they're going to win this game big. That's my opinion. Uh, The 8.30 game on Sunday, New England traveling to Indianapolis. Indianapolis three-point favorite at home coming off their bye. I hope this is a game where New England loses by 27, and then everybody says, oh, well, you know what, it's just one of those games, like the Kansas City game. Has everybody forgotten about the Kansas City game? One, it's inspirational that they came off of that when everybody knocked them off. But then all of a sudden it's like, hey, you know what? At the end of the day, you showed that you could get absolutely killed on the road in prime time. So I'm going to take Indianapolis. And if New England wins this game, I mean, we might be looking at the best team in the AFC. Anyway. Indianapolis is only the third team to come off a bye at home. And yeah, you were saying And that teams that come off a bye at home are Athletics, yeah. really good. And I think New England's due for a, a letdown game. Indianapolis is playing well. Andrew Luck's going to show Tom Brady what, what it's like to be 24, 25 years old. And they're going to destroy New England. Uh, let's move on to Monday night. It's a snoozer. Uh, Pittsburgh traveling to Tennessee. Pittsburgh's a six-point favorite on the road against Carl Mettenberger. Is his name Carl? Something Zach. Zach Mettenberger. LSU. He's an LSU guy. Yeah. LSU beat Alabama, by the way. Pittsburgh, uh, Roethlisberger What's throws it? up 12 touchdowns and two... Dude, two, you lost to the Jets. And it does nothing like You lost week. to the Jets. So bad. The Jets had 17 points in the first three minutes and scored three for the rest of the game. I know. For that reason, I say that Pittsburgh doesn't turn it over five times in the first three minutes, and they do cover six against Tennessee. But the big thing is, this, this is the guy's job I want. I don't want his faggot fucking hair, but... Troy Palomaro's out this week. It's like the guy's got a contract to play like 10, 10 weeks oh, a year. He's done. I mean, he's old. He's done. He's... Well, they're drawing up stats about how much worse the defense is when he's not in. Well, defense is horrible, period. I, it's, the dude's been irrelevant for seven years. Yeah. Well, he's been irrelevant his entire life. But he used to be able to jump higher with more flair to his hair 
and then everybody paid attention. He got Defensive Player of the Year for one play, one tackle, one sack the entire year. Don't forget that. I'm also Steelers, I'm man. also taking Pittsburgh minus six. Let's move on to our fantasy picks. Now it's time for our fantasy picks. It's I missed a swear on the oh, bottom right. thing and a slur, by the way. Nice. It's gotten a lot closer. It's 160 me to 145 you. It's and anybody's game at this point through 10 weeks. We've got seven weeks left. Who are you going to go with this week? It's time to go with a quarterback because I need to start catching up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go with Antonio Brown. <laughs> I just I couldn't find a quarterback. It's like I can't I can't I can't I can't justify anybody this week. I'm going with a quarterback with a guy that you've already picked that I have not. And that would be Andrew Luck. Oh he's gonna throw up some big numbers. I already picked him? Yeah, you picked him two oh weeks my ago. Oh god. Uh, everybody I thought about picking, I've already picked. I got a, I got a huge fantasy beat, by the way. Okay. At least with Yahoo. Alright. Denard Robinson from uh, Jacksonville. Yes. Running back or wide receiver? Well, that's what he's listed. He's a hybrid. He can he can be your wide receiver. Not on ESPN. On ESPN, he is only listed as a running back. Unbelievable. I mean, I got killed with it. The guy's playing as a wide receiver, getting twenty carries. Well, that's insane. It's insane. That's why I lost eleven points. That and Jordy Nelson. Let's go on to comments of the week. Now it's time for comment of the week. Yeah, we got a good one from our week ten video. This is obviously not from last. I week. know we on bye week. Charles Darwin. Gave us our results. Week nine results. Mole six and seven in parentheses, almost fifty percent. You'll get there. Yeah, I got survival to finish. Mears eight and five in parentheses. Mears is now the go-to money man, best prognosticator on the web lately. Good show. I hope you're still doing a week ten show. We weren't doing a week ten show. I just want to do that because that just makes my ego so much bigger. I know, and it makes us feel like we'll be the survival of the fittest. I don't get it. Charles Darwin. Oh, Charles Darwin. I forgot that that was the guy that but that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully we have a good week coming off the bye week. And I'm going to keep my title. I looked into some stuff. I want to keep my title as the go-to money man. I know, and it's like I'm going to be the GOAT, the greatest of, of all, all time. time. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. I'm going to take the lead in picks this week. I'm going to take the lead in fantasy, and I'm going to stomp the lead. Maintain the lead. Oh, whatever. I'm still going to stomp it. <laughs>